So one thing we noticed that was very interesting, let's mute that. We got a lot of um, fans and stuff like that. <laughs> um, I thought that's something that was very interesting. Now I want to tell a little bit about my background. Well, obviously I'm from New York, from my accent. A lot of y'all know me anyway from New York. All right. And I kind of got to the point where in my life where I was like, you know, I had women from New York, girlfriend, wife, ex-wife, all that kind of stuff, you know, and relationships didn't work for whatever reason. I'm not mad at the people. I'm not mad at them. I wish all my exes the best, but um, I kind of said to myself, man, I would like to meet a woman from down south or L.A., you know, because I, I, I lived in L.A. for a little bit when I was like 14. Okay, pause. Mm. L.A.? Well, Cali. Or Cali. Cali. Okay. I said Let's to myself, just make that clear. yeah, okay. let me let me back rewind, rewind, rewind. I said to myself, wow, I love to, you know, get to meet a woman from Cali or down south somewhere, because I was kind of feeling like, you know, I kind of got to know what women from New York are like. I ain't hating on y'all. Y'all beautiful too. Um, but I wanted a little something different, you know, and come to find out, I actually meet someone who is, can you give me your background? All right, so, um, my family, we traveled a lot, okay, mm -hmm. so I was actually born in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't supposed to be born here because my mom had me here on vacation, but um, I was born here, but I was actually raised um, in California okay. from like the age of maybe two or three to about 15 mm. and then I came back to my birth town of Tennessee Memphis to be exact and I've been here since the age of 15 to maybe 28 mm. so I've experienced um the West Coast, California, and down south. So, when people ask That's me where I'm from, I just tell them I'm from Cali and Tennessee. There, I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm from both places because I I've experienced both places um, equally. So, now do y'all hear that? Think about it. This is one woman sit here, right? Not two. Yeah. Okay, but yet she's from two different places she represents the west coast and down south all in one woman that's rare i mean the fact that i was looking for a woman in either of those places and happened to find a beautiful woman on my true Two love one. she is everything i needed and more and that's just to me another sign that we were meant to be a match made in heaven okay yeah. so when you put it out there in the atmosphere in the universe, you tell the universe what you want, yeah. it gives you what you want. All you have to do is speak right. it, speak it, and okay. it will come to you. So he wanted a woman from either uh -huh. to, uh, down south or Cali, and he got both. So, wow. I mean, what more? You know, you're a great you package still. The universe gave you more. <laughs> I mean, look, <laughs> and she has so many wonderful gifts and talents that I'm so grateful for. You always surprise me with all your different talents. Mm -hmm. Astrology, she does astrology, tarot card reader, great with numerology, you know, so we actually on that same level when it comes to spirituality, which I feel is important as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's really the strength that really, of course the sexual attraction, I can't deny that. Obviously, that's what everyone looks for, right? but we already got that y'all see that already that's obvious but um some of the things that weren't so obvious that we wanted to make you guys aware of was that we do connect on a spiritual level and i think that's important for every relationship that you know it can't just be about sex although sex is great for us we're not we're very pleased i'm very pleased with her i must say but beyond sex you know there's it's like when you're not knocking the boots, bro, what are you doing? Like, what are you talking about? What are you thinking about? What are you conversating about? And I think that's a very strong bond that we've been able to, you know, that's kind of what we, we connected. 
you know, in a conversation about actually crystals and tower cards is actually where our conversation started. And from that point on, the rest is history. Because it's a, it's a lifestyle, it's not something mm -hmm. that, you know, we're just jumping on the bandwagon because True. everybody is doing it. No, it was a part of my lifestyle even before I met him and was one of the reasons the main reasons why I left the person I was with before him is because I couldn't connect with that person spiritually because um, he wasn't on the same level and it was very important for me to have somebody that was somebody I could connect with spiritually because that was my, it is my life. So, um, awesome. And was that important for you? What I feel is important, yes, that we connected that way and that you weren't in a relationship. I think that was important. And um, I wasn't in a relationship either. And I think that's important that, you know, when you're connecting with your true love, that you're not stepping in on someone else's, you know, heart, breaking their heart as far as, you know. Um, so we were both single and I think that was awesome that she came at the perfect time. Many times I say to her, like, where were you all my life? I've been looking for you, for real, though. <laughs> like, I'll be asking her that. And I would say the same like, thing, too. Like, where you been? For real, why you didn't call out for me? Yeah, why you ain't holla? Like, mm -hmm. uh, wasn't you passing through Cali and you ain't even holla at me? Yeah, that's the crazy oh, thing. Dang. Like, I drove to L.A. Um. earlier this year, and he was actually in L.A as well but we mm -hmm. didn't know each other at the time so so yeah um i could have saw it and who knows she probably but he was dealing with his situation and i was True. dealing with my situation and so. that's why yep yep so we wasn't able to connect at that time you see so um yeah and basically you could call us a blended family because obviously she has children i have a child and so, but we mesh and we come together very well. We, our chemistry, our synergy is divine. It's a, it's a match made in heaven, I feel. But if you were to look at us on a surface level, I'm a Pisces, he's a Scorpio. We're not supposed to get along. Or Scorpitarius. I'm yeah. on the cusp of Scorpio and Sag. Okay, well, I'm on the cusp too of right, Pisces so, and Aquarius. So we're both cusp right, people. But right. You know, I will consider myself to be more Pisces than Aquarius, but... And I'm more Sag than Scorpio, because I'm born Thank November God, 20th. I don't... Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, okay. Scorpio, mm. y'all cool. Y'all right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, because of our, what is it, our natal chart, right? Our birth chart, mm -hmm. we actually do fit well together. Yeah, but Scorpio and Pisces, I mean, Scorpio, you got me saying Scorpio. Sagittarius yeah. and Pisces, um, they don't really get along together in supposedly. a relationship, supposedly. That's what they say, yeah. But mm -hmm. we have to look further and deeper into the natal chart mm -hmm. um, because there are some things that work in our favor in order for us to True. really, really, really get along. Absolutely. We sure do. We work. We work. You know, it was like a puzzle piece. Like it just, it just fit perfectly. For real, she fit perfectly in my arms, and in my life, and I can't ask for no, nothing better than what I've already got. Like you know, I'm content, and I'm satisfied, and I'm thankful that the universe brought my true love into my life and actually it didn't just happen like that just to give you a little background all right and this is going to be broken up into different parts but i did what some may call manifestation law of attraction type work uh using sigil magic things of that nature affirmations candle magic crystal grids uh you name it um I believe that, you know, I just came to a point where in my life I was like, look, I'm not giving up on love. I had a lot of situations that fell apart and that was, you know, it was cool with me. And, but I still was, I still believe and knew that 
there was someone out there for me. I just didn't meet her yet. So I would do things like even like imagine talking to her, even when I didn't even know her, I was actually having conversations with her because I believe that our minds and our spirits and our telepathic abilities are that strong. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt that she was already going to be on my level. So I might as well start sending her messages like, hey, where you at? I'm hollering, where you at? I need to see you right, right now. You need to show up. And I even asked Spirit, I was like, look, Spirit, I need you to have her contact me on social media. I actually said that specifically. And I hollered at her first and she didn't even respond. It was on Facebook. I was like, hello. Okay, but there's a reason why. Why? <laughs> Let them know. What's up? What, what's going on with your social you have media? To tell this story, like, do we have to get into details? There was a reason why, you know. Um, I mean, the, okay, you get a I'll lot tell, of people hollering at you. Okay, but let me tell the like story. Like hundreds, Since right? you want me to tell the story, let oh, me tell okay. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, at the time that he was um, messaging me, saying mm -hmm. hi, I had like a thousand men in my inbox. No lie. Like, I'm not kidding you when I say that. It's like a thousand men in my inbox mm -hmm. talking to me. So, he was just like another one. So... I kind of ignored yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So she she ignored me for like a whole month, practically. Or it felt like a whole month. And then someone told me to message her again. And I was like, Hey, I ain't give up because I was checking out. I was checking out page. I ain't gonna lie. I thought we had a lot in common. I see she was into astrology. She was spiritual. And I saw that she put on her post that she's looking for um. How'd you say the Divine masculine, you crave divine masculine. Yeah, I'm like craving divine masculine. And mind mm -hmm. you, I don't know why I typed this. I don't know why I posted that. Because at the time I wasn't looking for a relationship mm -hmm. or even to have sex with anybody. It was just, I just needed to feel some masculine, divine masculine around me. And I didn't have that. So I guess that's mm -hmm. the reason why I posted it. I don't know. But. So yeah, I responded and I was like, hello. When she finally responded after the second try, and I thank the universe for touching her heart because she doesn't respond to any of the men that be hollering at her on her Facebook. She doesn't get involved in no discussion, no chatting. So for her to respond to me, what was you saying it was? My something about my energy. Yeah, I picked up on his energy and I liked it. His um, it felt really familiar to me. Right. So when she finally responded, I said, "Hey, divine masculine here. I heard you was was um calling for me." <laughs> and so that was how we got started. And I love the fact that we were playful in our relationship and the way we got started chatting was very playful. And, you know, I told her I recognize her natural beauty, obviously. Obviously, she's beautiful. And um, so, uh, yeah, we began to, I talked to her about tarot reading because I have some tarot cards. I noticed that she read tarot. I was like, how'd you learn that? And what'd you say? He was like, seeing how. It just comes natural, baby. Yeah, it comes natural just, for her. Yeah, I just picked up a deck one day and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, History. so so I, I was actually, you know, I, obviously I was attracted to her, but I didn't want to just be like focusing just on my sexual attraction to her. So I was just like, let me have another discussion piece to start with. And let me talk to her about Tarot, you know, as a good, you know, conversation piece. And then we also spoke about my crystals, right? And you, um, you told me you like to keep up. Like, I love so. kissing him, by the way. So if y'all yeah. just catch me kissing him all the time, that's and just, I love kissing you too. That's like that's my fate. Like we always, like I'm uh, always kissing him. Yeah. <laughs> More than I probably should. No, no, that's that's good with me. She kissed me like about a thousand times a day. I think I kiss her a thousand and two times a day. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
it. So we were talking about coming together and working together as far as her modeling my crystals. And I was planning to send her some of my crystal jewelry and basically planning to go out to Arizona to a conference where I would be selling my jewelry. And we were planning like a, a business trip, actually. Um, and that kind of was one of the things that kind of like expedited our whole connection because although I was in North Carolina at the time, she was in Memphis, we was like, well, if we're gonna go to Arizona, maybe we should meet up before then so that we could like get to know each other if we're gonna be going on this road trip and stuff because we was planning to possibly drive. We weren't sure if we were gonna drive or fly. And yeah, so from that point on, once we connected, the chemistry is so real that I couldn't let her go like out of my sight from that point on. One dude, I was in Target. She walked away from me for what? Like about a hot second, maybe a few minutes. Not long, we was in Target. Dude tried to holler while I was somewhere else in the store. I walk up on her. I see the dude trying to get her number. What he, he just came up to you, it was like, you for that for real and that shows that she's loyal and that was like I think the universe was maybe wanted me to see that and maybe testing her to see how she would respond I don't yeah, know yeah because when he approached when Craig approached me like he would have saw me like if I wanted to get the guy my number he would have walked up on that basically right and I would have saw that and that would have been Ooh, that would not been, have been good. I would have really got pissed off. She was like, what would you have done? I was like, well, if I saw him again, you know, I would just walk between y'all two. Like, yo, dude, like, back up. This is my woman. Like, you, you can't be over here trying to get her number. You, you acting real thirsty right now, especially since you work for Target. He was an actual Target employee. That was a crazy thing about, like, he on the clock trying to get a girl number. Like, I'm thinking to myself, like, how many women he be trying to holler at? <laughs> On the course of a, a day's work, you know, but yeah, um, I'm thankful that we don't got no issues with that as far as none of that, like playing each other, like we devoted and committed and I'm committed to her and it's more than just, it's, it, it goes way beyond just like even like, uh, we, we in this for the long haul, let's put it like that. It's not no like fly by night relationship, like hit and quit it type deal. Nah, it ain't none of that. We soulmates, we, it's my true love. And I feel that I helped manifest her through my love sigils that I was drawing on candles, on my body, my arm. I was using eyeliner, <laughs> literally. Well, we actually, past life a past life together mm -hmm. um, we probably have several past lives together but um, I actually seen it in our chart our natal chart That's and amazing. I was telling him about it when we first met That's amazing. and how did you feel about that well I, I was shocked at first because I didn't know that, that that actually the past life can be seen through your natal chart, your birth chart. Some of y'all probably like, what is that? Well, it relates to your astrological sign, the time you was born, the day you was born, the location. So I was born in Queens, New York, November 25th, and I'm not telling y'all the time so y'all can go try to get my natal chart information. Cause that's very vital. So you need to look at your birth certificate, find out the exact time of the day you were born. Once you do that, you can pull up your natal chart, birth chart online. Um, and But to read it, you would need someone like, Ashley, who is a astrologist, astrologer, how would you describe yourself? Like, uh, yeah, she's astrologist and she's able to um, break down and help you dissect and understand yourself 
I mean, explain what does a birth chart do for people and let them know about their life, right? Like who they are. Basically, what? it's a blueprint of your life. It tells you everything about mm-hmm. everything about you. Mm-hmm. But it tells you everything about mm-hmm. your life, like every aspect of your life, your home life, your career, your finances, your goals. It tells you about your relationships, your partnerships. It tells you about your friends, yeah. your kids. It tells you everything. Oh, if somebody's going to die, one of your kids are going to die. You don't wanna... I know that's a little scary, y'all, but we have to face the fact that mm-hmm. this is what you wrote, right? This is what mm-hmm. you did. This is how you designed your life before you incarnate into this realm in this lifetime. So, mm-hmm. obviously, me and Craig signed a contract to yep. be, be together at this moment of time in our uh-huh. life to um, to do whatever it is that we're going to do. I'm not going to tell you mm. all of that, but yeah. yeah, that's why it's important to know your birth chart and um, it lets you know a lot about who you are, you know? And so. What you want to do. Yeah, your life purpose and what what you strive to do, why you come on this planet Earth, what were your goals, what what are you striving for, right? So it tells you all of that. It tells you why you uh, blink the way you blink, why you talk the way you talk, why you walk the way you walk, right? It tells you why you laugh the way you do, mm-hmm. why you're sad, why you're depressed, why you're happy, what what's going to happen within the next few years. It tells mm-hmm. you everything. And so it's just a blueprint. Um, yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that everything on your natal chart is going to happen exactly that way, but it's pretty much like a blueprint, like right. what is set you're set out to do. Some things may change as time go on. That's called a progress chart. So we're not gonna get in, all into that, but yeah. So yeah, so I discovered that through our natal chart, we were able to di- discover that we actually had past lives together. She was my wife in my past life. I was her husband. And it was verified to me through another astrologist who gave a reading. And she also verified the fact that yes, um, I will be once again uniting with um, my lover from my past life. Uh, according to my natal chart, it shows that she, will, me and her, will reunite. So that is powerful. And I feel that that's so divine and that's so amazing because even on her Facebook, she was like, I'm seeking my divine masculine, you know, and that person is me. Out of all the thousands of men that's trying to holler at her, even to this day, they be blowing up a phone. And, you know, but I'm secure enough in our relationship that I don't feel phased by, you know, I see all types of dudes from all over the world trying to hit up, but I already know that she's devoted to me, so I ain't really sweating that, you know what I mean? And I appreciate you, they for giving me enough, trusting me not to worry about that, you know? So that's real in the field. But yeah, um, I didn't expect this video to go this long. We're about to head up to the 25 mark, so I'm about to cut it real soon. But um, thank y'all for listening. Um, we really, our, our goal is to basically encourage other couples and people in their love life and to know that, you know, there are different tools and things you can use to work together to um, make your uh, love life a successful one including astrology, including tarot reading, including crystals, including sex magic, including there's so many things that we do together that we're going to be beginning to share with everyone as far as what makes our relationship work, right? So any final words you want to say to the people? Well, um, if you guys loved our story, which is a little snippet, we didn't really go into detail, detail, but if you guys are interested in that, please let us know by leaving a comment under this video. 
and uh, we'll be happy to share um, more of how we met and why we met and mm -hmm. go into all of that so but okay. I want to thank you guys for watching if you are at this point of the video you a soldier <laughs> all right we love you all right yeah. so thank you for watching and um, I just appreciate you so yes um, and once again like she said follow subscribe feel free to share this video um, leave a comment based on our conversation what you want to hear more of um, yeah what do you guys want from me and Craig like yeah. what do you guys want to see from us yeah. like, what kind of content because we're both content creators yeah. um, I think equally you know so. right. and I wrote some new songs so I wrote a, some beautiful songs about my goddess one is called looking at my goddess y'all need to check that out I'm gonna put the link at the bottom of the video so y'all can see that um actually does spoken word poetry she actually wrote a poem for me which was beautiful y'all probably can see that link at the bottom as well mm -hmm. so we're here to continue to inspire and motivate and once again thank y'all for listening and watching our video and um we look forward to um what do we inspire and motivate people to do towards spirituality getting to know themselves the divine self the god goddess inside them mm -hmm. And believe in love, love. We want to display uh -huh. our love for each other out into the world so that we can spread it to you because right. it is nothing but energy and we want you guys to pick up that energy because mm -hmm. if you feel like there is no hope out here for love, I'm here to tell you that it is. So keep right. watching because I'm going to continue to love on mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do the same. Mm -hmm. And we want to um, let you guys see that. Okay, so and be a part of, you know, this spiritual journey that we're going on, and hopefully we could be a part of yours as well. Yep. So thanks for watching, y'all. All right. Stay in touch. Peace and love. One love. Okay. Signing out. Craig and Ashley. We'll see y'all later.